WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we have quite a start to the trading month, a new quarter as we approach April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day out there. Have your guard up for those April Fools. On the market, no joking around to the upside. Dow Jones up 269 points, trading at 26,198. NASDAQ up 92 points, trading at 7492. Excuse me, NASDAQ up 84 points, trading at 78.13, that was NASDAQ 100, up 90 points, trading at 74.91, and we get the S&Ps up 27 points, trading at 28.65. Quite a day for notes and bonds in terms of higher rates. We haven't said that often. Lower price, higher yield, 10-year note, negative 20 ticks, 123.19, 30-year bond, negative a full point, and 15 ticks, trading at 148.06, and the dollar index flat right now, trading at 96.850. We'll jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow basically sitting at session highs, 26,201. We had a little bit of volatility right at the opening bell. We trade from 26,150, we'll call it, all the way down to about 26,080. But from there, it's been upward action for most of the day. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Highs of the session as we speak, trading at 7,492. We got the S&P 500 trading higher for most of the session as well, 28.65 in the June, June S&P contract. Gold contract, volatility in both directions. We spike higher to above 1,300, reaching 13, let's get the high, 1,301.51, right before the opening bell. And from there, we've sold off a bit. Gold trading at 12.94.75. Crude oil, talk about trading higher. Crude trading 61 43, quite a number. Higher prices coming at you. And Euro US dollar trading 11206. In terms of what else you have happening out there, one of the biggest stories Friday had to do with Lyft going public, priced at $72, opened as high as, I believe it was $87. But from there, it's been quite a slide, folks. Checking out L Y F T. Where are we? $70.60, excuse me, $70.57. This is 88.60 yesterday, priced at 72, quite a number on that lift, and we're going to finish it up. There's your 30-year yield. Point being, check out today. Now, this is yield, just today, jumping from 2.83 to about 2.88, quite a number. Stay tuned. We've got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Have a great Monday, everybody.